guys and welcome back to Cage Land. Thank you so much for joining us today. So today is going to be all about how to pamper your man. If you would like to know how to set the mood and have the perfect night, then keep on watching. love to pamper my husband it is something that we compete on like on a regular we try to outdo each other when it comes to pampering and going over the top and I understand that it's not all about how much you can spam but it's about the thought that you put into it and a lot of times I just really want him to know that not only did I do everything to prepare for this I had you in mind the whole time so I think that when people know that you you are thinking about them and you go out of your way to make sure that they they feel special it just makes it that much better I'm gonna run through an entire perfect scenario on what I would do and what I actually already did <laughs> because it just filmed the whole process of what I was doing that's kind of why it took me so long when he came home he saw the bath and I had already started preparing dinner and it is just I want him over y'all so I want to show you guys how to do all of this I want to I want you guys to take some tips and tricks and everything and I hope that your man your boo your boo whoever you decide to do this for really really enjoy it I think the takeaway would be that you took the time you thought about them you went out of your way to make sure that they felt special so I am super excited to show you guys these things all right, so the first thing I would do is I always send him a sweet text. It's nothing like getting a text message out of the blue telling someone that, hey, I was thinking about you or you've just been on my mind or tonight is all about you. It is so sweet and it's so out of the out of the normal to send somebody a message to let them know that you were thinking about them I think it is a very very key in this whole process so that's where I start all right so it's gonna take some preparation don't think you're gonna pull off the biggest romantic night of all times and not prep for it you have to write out a plan I think it's very important to start off with what you're gonna do what you're gonna eat what you're gonna listen to everything needs to be planned out I hate looking for something to wear because you know time is passing by with everything else that you have going on I also want to pull out some lingerie I want to make sure that I am cute I want to make sure I'm sexy and it's nothing wrong with dressing up for your spouse or your boo it's nothing wrong with that so I think that is very important to have something Preferably something they, they've never seen before, you know, if you don't like the real risque, skanky things, then I can tell you that there's things out there like baby doll, you know, negligees, gowns. You just don't want to be in a robe, okay? You don't want to be in a robe. You don't want to be in some moo moo. You want nothing on your head. You want to be completely comfortable. So now that I'm talking about being comfortable, let's talk about how to prepare yourself. I think that it's very important to have your mindset to you know that sexy vibe so I turn on music while I'm getting dressed and it reminds me of you know the night that I want to have and how I want to love on this person so I'll turn on something my very favorite is Anita Baker or Sade I love listening to people like that I'll put them on while I'm getting dressed it puts my mind my body my whole spirit in the mood of a sexy night <laughs> So the goal is to create a relaxing oasis. Now this could be in your master bedroom, it could be on your living room floor in front of the fireplace, anywhere in your home that you can just create a space, maybe decorate it, you can have a picnic on the floor in any room. Just grab whatever you have. to be pampered. 
Pittsburgh, so I wanted to create this relaxing space for him when he got off from work where he can just really kind of, you know, sit back, relax, and chill. <laughs> You can put the rose petals on the bed, you can have them in front of the fireplace, wherever you create your space, just make it a romantic, cute little time. a very quick and easy dessert. Trust me, he'll think you spent all day making it. So I'm gonna start off with a very cold bowl. I did put my whisk and bowl in the refrigerator. I'm gonna add in this bowl some heavy cream, some vanilla, and half a box of vanilla pudding. <laughs> heavy cream is done I want to pop that in the refrigerator and get started on a double boiler for my strawberries Now this is a lemon pudding cake, but you can use pound cake if you have it. I just really like the lemon flavor with the lemon that's in the strawberry. It was so good and they paired really well together. Going in to assemble, you can assemble it however you want. You can add cream, then cake. You can add strawberries, then cake. I wanna assemble this a little early and pop it in the fridge. <laughs> places to go for date night is a steakhouse so I decided to make a surf and turf at home and I'm going to show you guys this is so easy so starting off with a butter this has parmesan garlic and basil in it put this out and let it sit at room temperature so it'll be a little soft so in that I'm going to mix in some crab and then I'm going to set that to the side <laughs> So seasoning our steaks, I know it looks like it's a lot of salt, but trust me, as thick as these steaks are, you wanna be generous with the salt. <laughs> Add in your salt and pepper. A really good tip is to make sure that you sit your steaks out 25 to 30 minutes before cooking because you wanna bring it to room temperature. Once it's kind of done, I'm gonna pop that butter on it and then I'm gonna cover it up to let it rest and let that butter melt. Ah, oh, ooey gooey.
make sure your plate stays clean. When you go to a steakhouse, your plate always comes out clean. Put everything on a tray before you plate it. And then you want to plate as if you were in a restaurant. You want it to look nice and clean and presentable. Don't forget the music. I cannot forget the music. I absolutely love music. There's a few albums that we love together. There's a few things that we love to listen to and when it's that time and we want to be romantic and we want to sit and share time together, we have a few albums that we just really love. Carl Thomas being one, emotional and I can't let go. <laughs> Thomas is a good one. Kim is a really good one. Um, I can't think of a whole lot right offhand, but I'll list some down in the in the description bar that you guys can check out. Put on the whole entire album, and I promise it'll set the mood and it'll have your whole night a romantic. So setting the table, I knew that I was going to put all of the food and everything on it so I didn't want this huge centerpiece where we couldn't, you know, communicate or see each other or hold hands. I really wanted to keep it minimal as possible so I just added some candles, a small arrangement of flowers and everything that we will need to have our dinner. out of my way to make sure that he you know had a good night when you don't get to get out a lot and have date night I think it's just perfect to be able to create a space in your home just be creative you, you don't have to have all of this stuff I use exactly what I had in the house just to create a romantic night for us kids we can't always get a babysitter and we can't always go out so I don't want that to be an excuse on why we are not celebrating each other why we're not expressing our love to each other so that is it thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you took anything away from this video don't forget to tag me I would love to see your pictures um, and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up if you want me to make more videos like this I would love to. <laughs> oh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.